Hello everyone, I am Raj Zorai, Product Manager of Bool PA from Syncfusion. In this episode of Coding Cube, I am going to discuss about the Embedded BI and Embedded Edition of Bool BI, which is an enterprise class dashboard platform from Syncfusion. Embedded BI is a widely preferred analytics solution among business users who would like to embed analytics along with their business applications. This overcomes the context switching between the business and analytics applications. Displaying weather report in an airline ticketing website, visitors traffic in a web page are some good examples for embedded scenarios. Embedding analytics can be made possible through embedding BI tools. With Bool BI, you can either embed the entire dashboard or its analytics modules such as dashboard and data sources designers, dashboard and data source listings into your preferred web pages based on the need with secured access to your domain and its users. Let's see how to embed a dashboard in a web page. You can embed a dashboard without any script dependency. Now let's move on to the code to see how a dashboard can be embedded in a web page in simple manner. Let's take a HTML page where there is no script references. So in this page there are two sections, one to hold the text and other to hold the dashboard. In the dashboard section, the dashboard can be embedded using the iframe tag. Here the URL of the dashboard need to be passed as value to the source attribute followed by the isEmbed parameter set to true in the URL. This will be the output of this page when run in browser. Here all the background process in the embedded dashboard such as editing, saving will take place in the Bool BI application itself and hence the business application doesn't need to worry about that. The dashboard you are going to embed can be the one hosted in on-premise or in cloud through the Bold BI on-premise or cloud deployment with private or public accessibility. The dashboard URL can be retrieved through the get link option in the drop down menu in Bold BI application. Here let's consider a dashboard whose accessibility by default used to be private. So when you embed a private dashboard, user login screen will be prompted once the dashboard loaded. So embedding a public dashboard renders the dashboard once the page loads without needing login. So to enable the public accessibility to the dashboard and get its URL at first, you need to enable the public marking functionality in general at the Bold BA application level. To do so, navigate to the settings menu and choose the dashboards so, and enable mark dashboards as public and save. Now navigate back to the dashboards and select the menu near the dashboard to embed and choose make public. In the dialog, click make public. Now copy the generated URL and paste as value for the source attribute in the iframe tag. View the HTML file in browser. You can see how the dashboard is embedded along with the other web page contents. Let's move on to the next feature on how to embed, create and edit dashboard and data source modules. Embedding individual modules will be needed when you would like to create a custom application white labeled based on your app and mimic Bool BI application functionalities offer as OEM product. So in that manner, create and edit modules of dashboard and data source designers of Bool BI can be integrated individually with your business application. So to accomplish that, Bool BI offer REST APIs. So here is a web page that acts like a custom application with the Bool BI modules such as dashboard listing, dashboard viewer, create and edit views of dashboard designer. This actually projects the details of the Bold BA application that is actually hosted in an accessible location. So those details were accessed here through the REST APIs. Here is the code behind this application. For REST API access, you need to refer the required scripts. So two more script files needed to be referred in addition to define the listing, create and edit dashboard actions in this custom application. So in properties.js, this is another script file where you need to define the dashboard application site, URL, email, password and the environment. Environment here denotes the cloud or the on-premise. In the dashboard listing script file, 
define the email and password for access token generation for create and edit modes. It includes the functions covering the listing, rendering, create and edit operations. Internally, all these operations gets the required inputs through corresponding REST API endpoints and embed the dashboard using iframe tag. Now let's see how to enforce security in a dashboard for its embedding to particular domains or IP addresses. Navigate to the dashboard and click security from the drop down menu. Feed the domain names and or specific IP addresses from which the embedded dashboard can be accessed. In the year of 2020, so embedded BI is expected to fulfill the security needs completely through SSO implementation. It lets one share the application authorization with the embedded dashboard. Also, the other major modules in Bool BI application such as schedules, slideshows will be allowed to embed as URL using iframe. You can find more resources about the embedded BI in these links. You can also connect us through social media or give a phone call or email us. All these listings can be found in the YouTube video description. Thanks for watching.